Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chad here, Back to the Future podcast, continuing our Donovan Mitchell Top 25 Personal Collection Countdown. Today, number 15 through number 11. And I got to tell you, this is where we're starting to get into some real fun parts of my personal collection. So, I'm doing this not only to show off my Donovan Mitchells, but also as a time capsule. Kind of going forward, I want to see what my collection looks like as I age. And what a better place to document it through YouTube. Go make sure you check out our podcast wherever you can find your major podcasts. Subscribe to us there. We are your sports card entertainment podcast. All right. So coming in at number 15. Here's a fun one. A 2017 Crown Royale Donovan Mitchell Panini's Choice Die Cut PSA 10. So I got to tell you a few things about why this card comes in at the top 15 and beats out some of the ones that we've had on the previous shows. First of all, I love the fact that this is an insert. It's numbered to 99. It's a PSA 10. All of those things I love. The pop count on this is three, which is great. It's not gonna explode through the roof. It's limited to 99. The color gold and the prism that we see here really make the Jazz City Edition jersey pop. PSA got the centering of this card well done. You know, you've seen some die cuts that get off center. This one really seems to pop for me. Really happy with this card. Uh, Hits all of the things I love about cards that I just mentioned. So that comes in at number 15. We'll go ahead and put the arrow of that card right up there by the tinfoil hat. Really accentuates the ears there, which is great. Number 14, 2017, we'll stick with Crown Royale, Crystal, Rookie, PSA 10. This one numbered to 99. Again, a few similar things we'll see here. I really do like the Jazz City Edition jersey. The gold on gold makes it pop. The crystal really gives it nice color, bringing out a lot of the color of the card. It's low numbered. It's PSA 10. These die cuts are difficult to get necessarily get a high grade on the pop count on this last i checked was only two boy good looking card don't love that it's a horizontal card difficult to match up when you're trying to display them but when they go into a nice zion mag case it works well by the way if you are in the market for a travel case especially a zion case go check out their website they give you an excellent deal you can get 10 percent off with the promo code All right, that's number 14. Number 13, let's go ahead and stick with Crown Royale. It kind of seems to be a theme here. Whew, Crystal Purple, PSA 9. This one, numbered to 25. Again, a lot of the similar features, same reason I like this card. This was a recent pickup off of eBay. I bought it graded. Just a beautiful looking card. Very low population count. Last I checked, there were no PSA 10, so this is as high as you'll get. Go ahead and matches over here with the crystal. So that comes in at number 13. Number 12 was one of my earliest Donovan Mitchell collection purchases. I bought the card raw, loved it because it was an insert. I think personally that this insert is incredibly undervalued it would not surprise me one bit if it jumps up in the future following the trend that we've seen with inserts so number 12 2017 crown royal again pacific marquee and i just love it i just absolutely love this card makes me think of going to see a show or a movie with of course the marquee the colors the highlight everything that you want about an insert it's got Boy, the color's just off the charts with this card. Absolutely love it. These Pacific Marquees were case hits. Uh, Pop count on this one is one. There are five higher. Very low population card. Absolutely love it. So that comes in at number 12. And no, not for number 11. I don't have any more crown cards. As a matter of fact, I got two cards coming in at number 11. Noir. Horizontal RPA, 
We've got the Noir. We've got the color version. Rookie patch autos, both numbered to 99 at number 11. I love the look of these. I love the fact that they put almost a mirror image of the card reflected upon itself, the way that they laid out the patches in the autograph. Love Noir. Um, they've had some beautiful inserts. They make beautiful cards. Hard to come by. Very difficult to, to get them graded well. So those are just going to go ahead and stay in the mags. But I absolutely love those Noir. So together they come in at number 11. So as I mentioned before, hopefully you can see why I've really enjoyed number 15 through number 11 in my collection. I love these cards. You've got inserts. You've got RPAs. You've got low numbered cards and cards with very low PSA population counts. Um, you've got some great color matches. You've got some color that pops. You've got some prism that's mixed in there. These are not game-worn jersey patches. If they were, it would have bumped those up in my ranking. Um, those are player-worn. But this, to me, obviously you can see why these cards, in my mind, rank higher than the others. So that's number 15 through number 11. What do you think is going to be coming up in the top 10? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned for more videos to find out. If you like this content that we're putting out, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go listen to our podcast, Pack to the Future Podcast, your sports card entertainment. This has been Chad. I will see you next time for more of the top 10.